Guess who's back? Hey guys, what's up? It's Thursday. That means it's time for Greg to do his Apple Ball Guys vlog. Now, last week I didn't get my video in. It's not because I didn't try. I did try to get it done. I had it recorded. If you want to see a copy of it, I've still got it. But um, I didn't get it turned in in time because I was in Costa Rica and we had internet there, but the internet access was slow and it didn't upload my video, so therefore I've got to do a punishment video. You would think that these guys would cut me a little bit of slack seeing as how I was outside the country doing the Lord's work. But they chose not to do that, so uh, I've got my punishment video, so here we go. All right, guys. As you can see, this is my punishment part of my video. I am not choosing the stick of butter. I am not choosing the ghost chili pepper. I would like not to choose option three, but that's the option that I'm choosing when given the other two. <clears throat> For your viewing pleasure, this is me being the dog. I'm wearing a collar. There's the leash. All right, please, Danielle, pat me on the head and treat me like a dog. <laughs> Rub my head, yes. Rubbing your head. Sing to me. How much is that doggy in the window? Arf! Arf! That's mm. gonna be lovely. The one with the wag. Go tail. Show that to a little fat. <laughs> Dog, wait. Yeah, get up and show that to a little fat. Okay. See the dog treat? Yeah. They're yum. Mm, hurry. Mm. How much is that dog in the window? I do hope he is for sale. Good boy, good mm. boy. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. What you didn't just see was the fact that I, as I was eating the dog treats, which were nasty by the way, I felt it right here. So I stopped the video because I just went to the bathroom and vomited. I just threw it all back up. So. Don't eat dog treats. Don't do dog treats. Do your video. Don't get punished. And if I can help it anymore, I won't get punished. And that's it. That's all you're going to get out of this punishment video. There you go. I would like to tell you a little bit about my trip to Costa Rica. Um, I was asked by Max and Jessica Barroso. Hey Max. Hey Jessica. Uh, to go with them to Costa Rica to do a uh, youth pastors and youth leaders conference. They'd never had anything done like this before, so we teamed up uh, with their national youth pastor and their national youth leadership board, and they put on this conference down there. They have 73 churches. That's seven, three uh, churches uh, down there in Costa Rica, of which they had 70 churches represented. I thought that was really, really cool. As a part of that, they uh, they had about, probably about 130 uh, different individuals that were registered there. It was a team of us that went, uh, Max and Jessica Barroso, uh, myself, Stephen Jones, Jonathan Lyles, Sky Hayes, Amber Roy, Eduardo, and his wife, Katia uh, uh, Gonzalez, all of us uh, teaming up together to work together to put on this conference. We all had different breakout sessions that we were running, and we also ha all had an opportunity to speak in a general discussion or a devotion type uh, period. It was the first time I had ever done anything like this. Um, and man, let me just tell you that one, man, it was, one of the, it was a great experience for me. Uh, got an opportunity to meet lots of new people. Uh, it was interesting working with a translator. I'd never done that before either. And God just really moved and I believe really uh, poured into a lot of different people, not just those that were there to receive training, but also us as well who did the training. I made a lot of new friendships, not just the people on the team, but also uh, those youth leaders that were there in Costa Rica. It was really, really cool to try to interact with them and get to know them on a, on a deeper level. I was extremely humbled to even be asked to go, but then even more so uh, when I was able to see what God uh, did during that time. And man, it was a fantastic experience. We'd go again in a heartbeat. Uh, while we were there, we got to also do a couple of uh, interesting things besides just a part of the conference. We went to a soccer game where we saw uh, one of probably the best team in Costa Rica, Saprisa, uh, get a chance to uh, uh, play in the Costa Rican National Stadium. That was a pretty cool experience, uh, looking at everything take place. 
quite different than the American soccer experience. They are very much into uh, their soccer and some of the youth leaders that went with us, it was interesting to sit down and watch them really get into watching Saprisa play. We also got a chance to go to uh, the beach while we were there. It was kind of our fun day. It was pretty cool. I had never swam in the Pacific Ocean until this time. Uh, it was a beautiful day uh, that we got. The sun is very, very hot. Hot, 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 hot. I loaded up and layered up with sunscreen and still got burnt. That was uh, my trip to Costa Rica. Man, there's a lot of cool stories that I could never get into one video, so I may share some more over the next couple of weeks or anything like that, some things that happened. But with that all being said, I was very glad to get home uh, and see my wife, who I left behind on this trip. But anyway, so that's that. Uh, look, hope you guys have a great week. Alec, Chris, and Chris, you guys suck for making me do the punishment video. That's all I gotta say. I gotta run because we're doing our annual dinner theater tonight. We get started with tonight number one, and me and Danielle are, uh, are acting in that, so I gotta go get ready for that. So this is Greg saying peace out. Fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away.